If you've got painful arthritic knees, in today's video I'm going to show you three great exercises to help you strengthen them without making the problem worse. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be showing you three of my favourite knee strengthening exercises that are perfect for most people with knee arthritis. Now before I show you the exercises, I just wanted to let you know these are not going to be suitable for everyone with knee arthritis. Make sure you get checked out by your doctor before you give them a try. And if they cause you any pain, just avoid them and don't do them if it's against the advice of your healthcare professional. Anyway, let's have a look at the exercises now. If you've got painful arthritic knees, one of the main things you won't want to be doing is weight bearing whilst you do your exercises. So the first two exercises I'm gonna show you today are non-weight bearing, they're done lying down. Now this is really important because it's, it's possible to build strength in your key muscles without weight bearing, which means we shouldn't aggravate the knee. So the first exercise I've got for you is the straight leg raise. And this is one of my favorite thigh strengthening exercises for people with arthritis who have pain when they walk and when they squat. So what you're gonna do for this exercise is straighten the leg out that's going to be worked, keeping the other knee bent because then that supports the lower back. And we're just gonna start by straightening the leg to be worked only to the point of comfort. We're not gonna push right into pain. If you can't fully lock it out, don't worry. Just keep a soft knee like this and you're just gonna pull those toes up towards you there. Now you're gonna keep your back nice and straight. So press your back down into the bed and then lift that leg up in the air just until these two thighs are level and then come back down. Now this looks like a really easy thing to do, but for many people, this can be quite difficult. And if you've got very painful knees, it's difficult to move and squat. This is a great place to start. Now the only precaution I'd say here is if you have sciatica, this is not a good exercise for you because it stretches the sciatic nerve for people who are very sensitive around there. But for most people, this is absolutely safe to do. Now if you keep that movement going, we're not resting the leg at the bottom, we're just coming up, and then back down, keeping that ankle flexed up towards us, you'll soon start to feel a working ache in the target muscle there. So you're gonna keep that movement going until you start to get fatigued there, and then make sure you swap over and do the other side. So we're gonna bend that knee, straighten this one, pull the toes up towards us, and again up and back down, keeping that lower back nice and flat as we move. And all we're gonna do is keep going until you get that working ache, take note of how many you can do, and every time you do a set, try and do at least one more than you did previously. That's how we progress and get stronger over time. It's no good just stopping at 10 and doing that every day for a month, because you might initially get stronger, but then you'll very quickly plateau. So we need to be doing 10, then 11, then 12 as you get stronger. Before we go any further, I just want to tell you about Three Tip Friday. Three Tip Friday is my weekly email that I send out to my list and it features three of the most interesting things I found that week. It could be a health tip, it could be a piece of research I'm reading, or it could be a new tool that I've found to be really useful for helping people get more mobile. It's totally free, I just send it out once a week, there's no annoying promos inside, and you can sign up for it by going down below this video and entering your email in the Three Tip Friday link. So after you've done a set of those on each side, you might choose to come back to that a couple of times a day, but you can immediately follow up your first set with the second exercise. And the second thing we're gonna do for strengthening the arthritic knees is the bridge. Now the bridge is a great exercise to do when lying on your back, and we can choose to make the bridge more focused on our thighs and on our glutes, okay? So this exercise, involves bringing your legs up towards you. Now, if you've got very painful knees, they don't need to come too far up. You can just take them to the point that feels comfortable. And we want to make sure we're trying to weight bear through our heels when we do this. The reason we're doing that is because that is gonna engage our glutes better, which are very important for supporting your knees. So now we're in this position, we're just going to push down into the bed using our back. So we're just flattening our back down into the bed or the mat, you're gonna push through your heels and lift your pelvis up in the air just to a neutral position. Then at the top, you're gonna to squeeze your buttocks together and gently try and push your heels out away from you so as just to engage these muscles at the front of the leg and then slowly come 
back down. So I'm not overextending and I'm not bringing my pelvis right up here. We're just going so that we've got a straight line from our knees to our shoulders. I'll show you again, flat back, push down into the mat with the feet, come up, pushing through the heels and then push out as if we're trying to push our legs away from us. We've got a nice straight line here. We're squeezing those glutes at the top, holding for a second and back down. Now you might feel tension in your thighs when you do that, which is good. Some people feel a little bit in their hamstrings as well, but they shouldn't cramp. If you're getting hamstring cramp, your legs are probably not close enough up towards you. So take them a little bit further towards you. And you should also feel some tension in your buttock when you do this exercise as well. Now, if that's very easy for you, but you've still got painful knees, you would just want something a little bit harder, I would try a single leg bridge. So you're gonna straighten one leg out and the one that's bent is the one that's going to be working. And again, we flatten the back first, push down through the heel and lift just to that neutral position. Try again to squeeze the glute at the top. I can really feel my thigh having to work here. Hold for a couple of seconds and then back down. Now I would prefer to do the same leg again. And we're gonna keep going until we start to get some fatigue here. And this is quite a challenging exercise for using these muscles without stressing that knee joint. And you can keep going until you start to get that working ache that we spoke about before in those muscles. So again, with this one, we're gonna keep this knee bent. This one's gonna now go straight. We're gonna flatten the back and lift. At the top, you wanna to squeeze the buttock. Don't worry too much about what this leg is doing. It might be higher, it might be lower, but we just wanna keep the form good on this leg. Don't let the pelvis drop to one side. Keep it level as you move and just keep repeating so as to strengthen these muscles here. For all of these exercises, you can come back to them several times a day, do them to the point of fatigue, make sure you're doing them on each leg, and I would try and do them every day to build strength in your legs, and that should protect your arthritic knees as a result. Then the final exercise we're going to do for painful arthritic knees is knee extensions in sitting, which is a fantastic way to build strength, again, without weight bearing. You can do this from a chair, and you just need a chair with a nice back to it that you can lean back into without obviously tipping back too far. So we're gonna work this leg. I'm gonna show you how this exercise works. We're gonna keep our back nice and relaxed, and we're just gonna extend that knee that we're gonna work until we start to feel some tension here. Pull your toes up towards you. You might feel a little bit of a stretch in your leg, and then imagine you're trying to lift this leg slightly up off the chair. So it's just a centimeters lift, you'll feel more muscles in the top of the thigh start to activate, then pop it down and come back down. Now you might be thinking, well, how does just extending the leg and squeezing that muscle contribute to strength? And the truth is it isn't going to cause your muscle to grow, but what it does do is it causes you to have a better connection between your brain and your muscle. So now when you're walking around, if you practice this enough, these muscles are gonna activate better and they're gonna protect the knee more. So even if you've got pretty bad arthritis in your knee, this kind of a thing, even if it feels easy, can be really effective. Now, of course, if this is very easy for you and you have painful arthritic knees, but you're still quite strong, you can get an ankle weight that attaches to your ankle and you lift that instead. The other thing you can do is you can attach a resistance band to uh, your chair leg. So as you pull out, you're stretching the resistance band up. These are all really good ways to activate your quads. But what we're looking for here is a squeeze in the muscle. As I do this, I pull up and up and up, and I can actually start to feel like a warm sensation around here, like a positive warmth. It's not pain, it's like a nice feeling, and that's the muscle activating. And when it's activated, it means that it's primed, it's ready to go, and when I start walking again, it should be better able to protect my knees. So I would recommend doing quite a few of these in a row. You might want to do 15, maybe 20 in a row on each side. Try and do that three times per day. And it's a great way to strengthen the muscles around the knees and give you more protection if you have arthritis. So those are three of my favorite exercises to strengthen painful knees that have arthritis. I hope the video has been useful for you. If you're able to give those exercises a go, 
Do drop a comment below and let us know how you got on because I love to read your thoughts. And if you want to get more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. It's got loads more exercises and tips to help people with painful arthritic knees. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll see you on the next video.